no! It's spoiling me already. The spoiler guy is back at it again. Oh, oh, says you. I can make a lava cake. I need something for fucking Master Chef, okay? Dude, I'm Master Reactor. I don't cook, motherfucker. I lose. Stations, thank you. I'm in the top 13. Who would have lost a bunch of money on that? Everyone I know. Welcome back to the Master Chef kitchen. It must be feeling like home, right? <laughs> yes, Chef. Well, trust me, don't get too comfortable. Today, you face another mystery box don't challenge. Me, don't tell me. In this challenge, the contestants have to prepare, cook, don't tell and me. present one stunning dish using nothing more than the ingredients hidden inside the box. As usual, we will be watching you <laughs> like on, hawks. Then. We taste everything, observe everything as you go about creating this dish. Turkey? Are you ready? No, no, don't yeah. have duck. On um, the count of three, years, you'll lift those boxes. To the One! I have no freaking idea what's in there, so. The cowboy in me wants a steak. Two! Mystery box, mystery box. Give me anything. I've made brains, I've killed crabs, I'm a warrior. A sirloin steak. <laughs> a T-bone. I cannot freaking believe that they gave this cowboy a T-bone steak. I'm just totally jacked. Glistening before your eyes is a gorgeous USDA choice T-bone steak. Alongside Walmart. it, a selection of wonderful fresh produce, corn, Watermelon, what cabbage, the peach, fuck? sour cream, tarragon, cayenne, and paprika. All of that in front of you, including that beautiful steak, will cost you less than $15 from Walmart. When I think of Walmart, I definitely don't think of steak. It was kind of cool to see so many different things in just such a limited budget, but good quality ingredients. Well, hashtag add where? Remember, well, hashtag like add all mystery boxes, you don't have to use everything we give you. In addition, you have access to a staple pantry box to cook a stunning dish. OK, you have 60 minutes to make one amazing dish that we could sell Television in any of our restaurants. Television doesn't have the same rules, I don't think, with the hashtag ads. Plus. With just $15. They have a different formula with it. They do not, they're not. They cannot time to dispose them for sure. Now. It's at the end, but it doesn't really count, though. TV has different rules. Everyone can relate to this because it's the kind of ingredients you'll have on an everyday basis. We're going to have to see some real imagination. What would you do? I think what I would do is take the T-bone, like spice rub it, I'd sear it up, do a corn pudding underneath, and then some grilled peaches topped with uh, some of the tarragon sour cream to finish. Nice, nice, nice. Remember, one stunning plate. Wait, why is he hammering the T-bone on it? I'm telling you, how are you? Good, Chef. You've never been in the top three. Are you I haven't, no. No, no, no. I've been coasting in the middle, and I really want to make my way up Purposely, there. Purposely, or...? You... I got off to a rocky start, I'm not going to lie, but I, I'm working my way up there, you know? Good luck. Feisty. Frankie, how you doing, boys? Uh, what's up, Frankie? So, nothing Italian here. No pasta, no... Nah, you guys gave me a T-bone steak, man. I'm going to do all-American summertime. Hopefully, the sauce comes out good with the peaches. I have a good idea in my head. OK. You sure about that? Interesting combinations, okay. yeah? Absolutely. Felix is doing a roulade. She made some sort of a buttercream and she's butchered out the steak. You don't do a roulade of T-bone. The feeling was delicious. I know, but the fibers of a T-bone steak doesn't lend itself to being. She's trying to stand out, but yeah, I mean, Becky's making dessert. To take that T-bone, cast it to the side and do a dessert. It's a ballsy move. It's very ballsy. Uh, Becky. Hello, Chef. You intimidated by a T-bone? No, I'm not intimidated. I think that this is actually a strategic move, being the only person doing dessert. What is the dessert? Uh, I'm doing a creme anglaise infused with tarragon and then roasted peaches and caramel. Good luck, Becky. Good luck. That seems pretty simple, though. Hello, boys. Hey, Stacey, who's the top three right now? Um, seems pretty simple, I think Josh, but... Christine, and myself. What about Becky? She talks a lot. You know, she hasn't won anything yet, though. So Wait, let her she back it up and we'll see. Ten minutes to go. Well, I, I, guys, I don't 
temperature-wise? Where, where, where are you with that? It's There's medium, no spring. Medium well. What's going to happen to that steak in 10 minutes' time? It's going to... Um, well medium done. well, resting for 10 more minutes, it's going to go to well done. Yeah. Good luck, Tully. To be at this level, nobody should struggle. We're in the Master Chef kitchen. If you don't know Ooh. how to cook a steak, you're in the wrong place. Hey, Mike! Guys, Mike. just under five minutes. Start Mike. thinking about what you're choosing, that thing looks how you're going to plate it, wiping it down, and presenting it. Two minutes to go. Here we go. Finally, we get some good bite going, and it was time, Christine, dude. Christine, two minutes to go. Yes, Chef. She hasn't got the corn on the plate. What's she doing? Change gear, Christine. You're not going to make it. 13 dishes. We're only tasting three. Come on. Finish I'm your touches. I'm not sure about the sauce there, though. Guys, it's so vital that these plates look amazing. Don't waste the last hour that you did by ruining how it looks. Five, I think you're just throwing it. Four. What is three, that? Is that a bite? Two. One and stop. Becky? Becky, what the fuck? Is that a bite? Finishing touches. 15 seconds to go. Bite, bite, bite. Guys, it's so vital that these plates look amazing. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. <gasps> okay, I hope well they're I hope they roast her. I hope that they really cook confident. her. I love how my meat looks, and I pulled it out of my I don't know how I did it. Everybody happy with their dishes? Yes, yes sir. sir. After observing and tasting throughout the challenge, nice. the judges now take one final look to identify three standout Guys, dishes. I actually hope that they, that they cook her. Because usually like they roast them by man. what they're given, what they make. Becky, you screwed. Why would you do dessert? I don't think that's master yeah, shop. She gets corn, oh. T-bone, and she makes a small and dude. Have now chosen the three top dishes that we'd like to taste. First one. We actually thought that this individual was a one-trick pony, but they went out of their comfort zone. Frank. They did something they'd never done before in this competition. Frank. Congratulations. Frank. Frank. Come on. Good job. Frank. Would you like a Frank? That looks obnoxiously perfect. I'm oh. like, really, Frank? So, what is the dish? So on this side, you have the uh, strip side, and then you have the tenderloin. Smart. And then I made a slaw with uh, grilled corn and cabbage. And then the sauce, I deglazed the pan with uh, the peaches. And then at the end, I put the tarragon and sour cream. Great sear on the T-bone. Mm. It's played delicious. You've now reaffirmed your position in this competition. That's a bloody good dish. Well done. Thank you. Really good. Oh, boy, it's wicked smart. That's a big bite. The only thing that I would do more is just a touch more acid, but everything else is pretty spot on. Good job. Thank Come you me. so much, Graham. It looks like and tastes like to me you had the whole MasterChef pantry at your disposal. So that, I think, is the biggest compliment I can pay I you. I appreciate it, man. That's huge. Good job, Frank. Well, Thank man. you, guys. Good job, Frank. Pretty good job. The second home cook that made it into the top three. Excited to try it. Becky's ego is getting larger by Becky's the day. Nope. So if nope. Becky's name gets called, I'm going to vomit completely. Not her either. At the end of the day, it was a beautiful dish. Mike. And that dish belongs Mike. to Mike. Tanya. Well what? The I'm like, what? Tanya? Me? It took me a second to be like, huh? Like, go, walk, pick up your plate. Tell me all about it. All okay. right, well, it looks um, pretty good. I started off by marinating my steak in some tarragon olive oil, cayenne, salt, and pepper. Mm -hmm. I slow braised Smart. my cabbage, and then I boiled my corn, pureed it, and added some sour cream to kind of make it into a creamy sauce with some chili. So this is your first time in the top three with the mystery box. Yes, it is. Based on this, I'm guessing it's not going to be the last. Well done. She you keep really cooking like that and seasoning, then you're going to go far. It's awesome. Oh, thank you. $15, and you've turned it into something worth $40. Great job. Pretty well done. Thank you. <sighs> Pull that out of her ass, which is a little bit weird for me, we'll but We'll be whatever. tasting just uh, one more dish. And this next home Come cook on, Mike. didn't go the obvious way with the ingredients. Oh, no, he did, though. Mike Felix did. made this amazing roulade right in front of me, and I'm just hoping that they're not talking about her. I'm just praying that they're going to call my name. Don't call Becky. In the top three. Don't go the rigged. Don't go rigged. Mike. It's Felix. Becky. Becky. 
Oh, come on, man. What? What the hell are these judges, you know, that's, basing this on? That's, that's Becky illegal. Becky drives me crazy, but damn. She's good. So obviously I did dessert. Um, I made a little peaches no, and cream. No, I'm just gonna say, I'm just saying no. I'm gonna say, guys, I don't give a shit. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, a, I don't give a shit. Show me the dish. It's... Oh, come on, man. What the hell? Damn. She's good. So obviously I did dessert. Um, I On this show? When they, when they do mystery box, they say, who's the hero of the show? The main ingredient. What did they, and they always say stuff like, what did we give you? A T-bone, corn, bacon greens, butter bullshit. What did you do? What the fuck is that? I made a little peaches and cream puree, and then I'll now put we know a sugar for sure. on leaf, and then I oven roasted the peach with a little bit of caramel sauce. Where's my steak? What's difficult to do with fruits and dessert is maintain the inherent acidity. It's very easy to get too sweet and too concentrated, but your cook on the peach is really top-notch. There's notch. nothing in there. You went out of the mystery box and it paid off big time. Congratulations. There's nothing in there. It's beautiful because of its simplicity. So I think it's important for everybody here to realize how much plating can elevate your dish. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay, well done, all three of you. Three outstanding dishes, incredible. I really need to win this. I really want to get that advantage you, on the next challenge. Frank. I'm definitely not a one-trick pony. I've had more lows than highs. I've never shined. I've never Frank. been at the top of anything in this competition so far. I want to win. I know that I'm good enough to win this. My dish is the best dish, so I want to win today so, so it, badly. So, lady, so badly. Lady, I'm sorry, that's not, that's not a dish. That is not a dish. A huge advantage. In the next stage of this competition, that dish belongs to Frank. Hey. In this challenge, our home cooks had to turn fifteen dollars of fresh right, you get bigger produce samples from Walmart at Costco. into a dish Stop the drawing. judges could charge forty dollars for. The person that will have a huge advantage. In the next stage of this competition. Well done. Tanya. Frank. Okay. <gasps> what just happened? I Hold won on. a steak challenge. Me, Persian, we'll, we'll, we'll curry lady, won. Frank, steak. Becky, congratulations. Tanya, come with us. Good job. Thank you so much. Well done, well done, well done. And also, I had such great finesse. That's twice. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Yeah, look at her. Yeah. Poor Becky. She I don't like Becky. Yeah, I, I, I like her sometimes. I think she's good. I don't, so I don't like her. Um... But it's a little annoying. You're like, Much just take it. Yell. Take it like a man. <laughs> Come on. She, she reacts poorly when she doesn't win. Really odd. Weird, weird, weird. Welcome. As the winner of the Mystery Box Challenge, Tanya enters the Master Chef Pantry. Awesome. Where she is now in control of the elimination test. Like me? The I theme don't, of today's I don't elimination sugar test is our favorite dessert. Wow. I love dessert. My favorite dessert is a classic Tiramisu. Italian favorite. It oh. literally means pick me up. Tiramisu. <laughs> Tiramisu? Is that what I said? Yes, you guessed it. Tiramisu. Tiramisu. That looks for sure. Awesome. Layers of lady fingers soaked in espresso and liqueurs, mascarpone cheese, uh. and a dusting of cocoa powder. Yum. My favorite dessert is an all American classic. No, it's um strawberry shortcake. Oh. It's a perfect combination of crumbly cake, shit. fresh fruit, no and shot. fluffy whipped cream. Clearly the easiest. And lastly, my a mid favorite yes. dessert. An amazing, delicious, very technical British trifle. Oh, what? God. Trifles are phenomenal. Deceptively simple looking, but it is complex. I don't know what that is. Today, what all the fuck three is will that? be served. Oh, wow. There are two more things you should know. First, you won't be cooking, so you're safe from elimination. <laughs> Congratulations. That's big. That's awesome. Second, you get to choose which of them makes what. Oh my god. You are gonna tell us which four of your opponents are gonna make Joe's Italian classic tiramisu, which four are gonna be making Graham's stunning strawberry shortcake, and which four are gonna make this very shortcake technical easy. trifle. But listen, 
Graeme, Joe and I will select the worst in each category. That's the bottom three. One of those three home cooks will be eliminated from MasterChef. What in the tamale am I going to do? You have to think in the tamale. cleverly to absolutely nail your fellow competitors to the wall. So tell me, who makes complex, technical, or something simple? Oh, gosh. Oh. Don't do it. I... Oh. She's going to. She's going to destroy Christine. I, I already know it. Good luck, guys. That's right. She gave Christine Tanya the fucking safe. triple. She will not be in this elimination test tonight. I think Tanya feels guilty about whatever decisions she just made, which makes me feel like, oh, because she man, liked Ryan. Something's remember? about to go down, and it's gonna be ugly. The theme of tonight's elimination challenge is our favorite desserts. Dessert. Oh gosh. I messed up the apple pie, and now they want us to cook their favorite dessert. I'm terrified. Absolutely terrified. Il mio dolce preferito, my favorite dessert. Tiramisu. Uh, this is busting though. My personal favorite, strawberry shortcake. I don't know what that is. It my looks favorite like an English muffin with some bullshit. Trifle. What the hell is a I trifle? Well said. Tanya's huge advantage is that she has chosen who will make what dessert. Tanya, have I been friendly to her? I think I've been good to her. We will select the worst tasting tiramisu. No. The worst tasting strawberry shortcake. The worst tasting trifle. And out of those three, one of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Totally huge advantage to the uppermost Batman. Not only does Tanya get to choose what we each have to bake, uh -oh. she gets to choose who we're competing against. I have against. a bad thing about this to be honest. Are you all ready to go into the pantry and find out which dessert Tanya chose for you? Yes. Yes, yes. chef. <laughs> all right, you guys have 60 minutes to what, make what our favorite desserts. Your time starts now. Off you go. Ooh, didn't choose. Wait, what did they get? God, I knew it. Whoa, 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 I look. see my name by the trifle bowl. <laughs> yes. Up against Stacey, Becky, and Monty, and I'm like, oh, shit. I'm gonna be in the bottom three today. Boom. I got strawberry shortcake. Thank yeah, you, okay, Tanya. good. Strawberry good. Love this cake. Okay. Sweet. Tali's going to have a comeback. I feel so good right now. There's no way I could screw up. <gasps> yeah. Tanya chooses me to cook tiramisu. So I'm competing against Frank, Anna, and Felix. They are the strongest cooks still left in this competition. Frank. Frank's Italian. Let's go. Please keep in mind that Luca died for this. Just a reminder. I'm really excited about this. I mean, trifle. Becky, Stacy, Monty, and Josh. So there's only four of them in that little mini contest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to make a trifle. Why not? Who? Make Luca. It. Let's do it. The Italian so, who didn't make it is going to come back next year. Holly, mm -hmm. Scott, Mike, and Christine. Tanya chose strawberry shortcake for me, and I think out of the three, that's probably technically one of the easier ones to work with. So thank you, Tanya. I give Mike strawberry shortcake because He's a friend of mine, and it's from the South. That's what they eat, and I know he can rock it. But I'll take him down later. OK. Team Tiramisu is a very competitive group. Blame it, beloved David, Baltics game. Anna, Felix, and then you have Frank. It would be pretty tough to get sent home in the back of a Tiramisu, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen today, my friend. Where could it go wrong? Well, the perfect tiramisu, as much as it's a sweet dessert, it's about acidity, because the espresso has acidity, and the cocoa powder has bitterness and acidity, too. So it's a contrast of sweet, rich, and acid and light. Okay, Joe. Ooh. How are we doing, Felix? Good. Are you not going to put it in a form? How are you going to make it? On a plate, kind of more free form. Wow. Wait, on a plate? That's risky. One in four goes it's to gonna, the bottom it's gonna three. Fall apart. Anyone can go home today. And you're in a competitive group. I'm not going it's home It's going to fall today. apart. How's it going, David? I think it's going pretty well. Is that your cream there? Yes, that's Are you my happy with that? Cream. I am happy with the way it came out. What um, should it taste like? Mascarpone. It's like a little sweet, but a little sour. Good texture. Does this taste what you just described to me? 
Walk away. I mean, you've managed to take mascarpone, which is like a light, delicate cheese, and turn it into cream cheese. Just give me tips, man. The theme of this elimination challenge is the judges' favorite desserts. Complex tiramisu. Simple strawberry shortcake. Technical British trifle. For winning the mystery box, trifle. Tanya got to pick which dessert each home cook would Whatever. have to make. It's a trifle. Becky, Stacy, Monty, and Josh. Mm -hmm. So you're making a lot of components. You have custard, chantilly cream, sponge cake, uh, gelatin. You've got to make them all and then compose them. No, I like, it's I like a desserts with, with coffee, coffee in it. Technique. Coffee, espresso. Oh, that's insane. Is. You put me up against three other tough competitors. Now I don't even know what's gotten into it. Stacy, please. Are you using all your jello? Yeah. I didn't get a Okay. Get out of my way, Becky. I didn't come here to make friends. I am ready to be the top dog in this competition. Right, Becky. You look intimidated, yet every competitor in this competition is more scared of you. I mean, are you feeling vulnerable? I'm feeling a bit vulnerable because there's so many elements. Where is the jelly? Uh, well, this was supposed to be it. However, uh, I didn't get enough sheets of gelatin. Becky is known as the dessert girl. And so I give her the trifle because I know she's my fiercest competitor. Monty, what? where's the sponge? The sponge? Gordon tells me that he needs sponge. I don't even know what he means by that. He talks in this language that I don't entirely understand sometimes. The bottom bit, yeah, the bit with the liquor. Where's oh. the sponge? The sponge? What do you mean? Gordon says he needs sponge, and somehow that computes in my mind into, oh, I need lady fingers. Does anyone have extra lady fingers I could borrow? Don't give it to her. Does anyone have extra lady fingers I could borrow? Thank you, sir. Don't, don't. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake, easy, delicious Americana. We've got Tolly, mm -hmm. Scott, Mike, and Christine. End of the day, that shortbread has to be crumbly, but a little aerated. Mm -hmm. The strawberries, a little bit of sugar, kind of cook down, make a simple syrup, mm -hmm. and then the whipped cream, the chantilly. You know, definitely the most simple dessert that we have mm -hmm. today. And who do you think will struggle? I think that Tally is going to struggle. He always Chat. has a way of Chat. making himself his own worst enemy. I'm making a strawberry Monty air. yelled it's pretty much and be threw just Josh under the bus like really cool bubble in the team show. Why would he give her free fingers? Scotty, hey, you got it. Shortcake. No. Okay. In your favor. How much did you work this dough? I actually needed it pretty decently, I thought. But remember, you want this to be flaky. You want it kind of incorporated, just like that pie no spoilers, dough. Mom's I hope they didn't overneed it, because it's starting to look like a little pasta dough. I give Scott a strawberry shortcake because it's so easy. He's had some troubles with the dessert in the past, but I'm worried for Scotty. Last 10 minutes. Start assembling your desserts. Freeform Felix. Look, oh, Monty's cream's on fire. Monty! Monty! Why is she yes, still sir? in the pantry? Get a clock. <laughs> Don't, no, no, not with your hands. How can you set the go? How do you set fire to a trifle? That's the first for me. I'm looking to impress, sir. I'm looking to impress. Monty is all over the place. I don't even know where to start with her. Do you have any flour, David? I don't know anybody that could start a fire making a trifle bowl. <laughs> you burn a trifle bowl. <laughs> this challenge has set the cat amongst the pigs. Of the trifle crowd. Uh, disaster. I mean, honestly, nobody's jelly set. They haven't finished their pastry cream and haven't even started to think of the decoration. How about the tiramisu? I was worried about David and Felix, and rightfully so. Felix, he's doing like a freeform construction. Oh, this is it's trash. Tiramisu, it's just really garbage. See, but you never know if she can pull it off. What I've seen, Scott overworked his dough. His shortcakes are like almost like little hockey pucks. No good. Mike won't stop decorating his bloody yeah. shortcake. He's going over the top. Yeah. The only thing he hasn't done is pipe cream underneath the plate. <laughs> 30 oh. seconds to go. Come on. Last touches. Looks like Frank Eaton's. Hey, Frank, leave some for us. I got plenty for you, Joe. Five. Wait, these all look good. Three, two, one, and stop. Wait, this is all busted. So the theme of tonight's challenge was to recreate our favorite desserts. The worst in each category will face elimination. Let's see how they taste. So let's begin with tiramisu. OK, Felix? Felix's tiramisu looks like it's sopping blatant mess. She could be going home on this one. Thanks, David. Felix, you don't Check look happy. Up. It looks like man. I. That's I... true. You saw the standard, we put it up there, we asked you to execute it, and you come back with this. It's so disappointing. 
If it's bad, you will go home. Oh. That's not even a bite. What? Why'd you put nuts in here? I like mac nuts. Macadamia nuts? And an Italian tiramisu? Are you not understanding what we're doing here? It's not even eating it, it's, it's looking at it. You show like more finesse than anyone in the kitchen. Like things are beautiful and like that's not you. Come on. No. And it's like the smallest plate possible with it like almost falling off the side. I mean, I'm not trying to like hurt your feelings, no, but you I know, know that. I know, like, I know. It's terrible. I just want to <laughs> fling it off the balcony. Oh, just, just do it, Graham. Just, just tell how it is. It's dog shit. Just say it. I can handle it, just Way say too it. sweet, macadamia nuts, nothing. And it looks as sad as you do, because it is a mess. Alcohol all over the place, cream on the verge of spitting. So it's just like sweet on sweet on sweet. Um, and it's just mush. I mean, quite honestly, your worst performance in MasterChef. <laughs> oh, double tier, holy shit. It looks dreadful. In tonight's elimination challenge, the remaining home cooks made three of the judges' favorite desserts. It is a mess. It's just mush. But That's Felix's crazy. tiramisu turned a favorite um, into a failure. I mean, quite honestly, your worst performance in MasterChef. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of I've water been in there. there. I feel horrible for him. That's a place I wouldn't wish my worst enemy to go. You've been there all season. Doing a dish that's quiet. executed poorly. It's heartbreaking. Anna, come on up. You did a good job with your layering. As you can see inside, it kind of goes all the way Ooh. through, and you have your lady fingers, your sideways fingers, your lady fingers. balanced and acidic and it's great. Good job. Thank you. He likes his lamp Next for the tiramisu is Frank. Come on, Frank. It's really pretty. Thanks. It's like a, like a sweet little lasagna. Yeah. It's all right. Super balanced. You did the lady fingers justice, right? You soaked them, not too much. The layers are there. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like wonky. to taste the uh, tiramisu from David Martinez. I think Tanya threw me under a train at this point, and there I lay, starfished, ready for the train to come. I mixed my mascarpone with brandy and marsala wine, and I topped it with hazelnuts. What? David, you go to Italy and you sprinkle hazelnuts on tiramisu. It's dog shit. Mm. They'll f shoot you. The whole idea of tiramisu means pick me up. You just put me down. Put me down, yeah. Great shame. This is the first time I've ever made a tiramisu. Sleep That's quiet. pretty apparent. Joe, cook them. Cook them. Bin it. Why well, it's all this watery stuff around here? Uh, I believe I oversoaked my lady fingers. Looks kind of gross. Bin that shit. I apologize for that. Based on what I'm tasting, I wish I could send you and Felix home. No, no, Because no. this is really, really off target. Tanya, what did you do to them? Brutal. Next up, Josh, please, thank you. Trifle? Uh, strawberry and raspberry reduction I did with some blood orange juice and some armoretta. And then I also did a banana cream. Thank you. Tastes like a banana split. Thank you. Oh. It's not supposed to be a banana split. Fuck. This is like a bowl full of cream with bananas in it. There's like no fruit. Shit. It doesn't have the beautiful even layers 
It's all over the place, you know, and being able to scoop down, come up with a spoon and see all the craftsmanship, but also when you taste it, getting a little bit of all that together evenly. That's what you have to work on here. Okay, Monty. Monty? Right, what is that little thing? Raspberry gelatin with raspberries with raspberry liqueur. Perhaps. It's delicious. 29 minutes to go, you hadn't even had anything in a bowl. It is delicious. Oh, no, it's very nice. I mean, what do I need more? I need more sponge. Okay. Good job. And stop being so nervous. Thank you, sir. Okay. Is that really trifle, though? Stacy, let's go, please. Thank you. Oh. This is Italian trifle. What does that mean? That Stacey. means that I made a strawberry preserve using a little bit of balsamic vinegar. You put balsamic vinegar in a trifle. I did. I made a lemon curd and folded in some mascarpone and then a little bit of toasted almond on the top. She took a recipe. Maybe I could pay off for you. We don't know yet. It's fantastic. It's delicious. Thank oh, you. Really good indeed. Thank Smart, you. bold move. Great Becky job. Becky mad again? Well Becky mad? All kinds of goodies. And there's no fruit in there, though. Super balanced. The layers are there. I do miss the sprinkles, though. Huh? I think they're cute. Yeah. But I think it's definitely delicious. Thank you. Thank you. The judges didn't say you can't take a little twist, so I went ahead and took some creative license on it and just went my own direction, trusting my palate. Becky, let's go, please. Thank you. Thank you. Becky's walking up with hers, and as usual, hers looks stunning, and I'm just facing bottom three. I don't think I agree, ball. though. Same so problem, trash layers. Raspberry and orange liqueur gel with orange flower water. And then I also did a custard with lemongrass and, Where's the fruit? and then the whipped chantilly cream with star anise. Did you have a strategy in presenting us with such dissonant flavors? Um, no, certainly not. I mean, I tasted at your bench and I thought that the star anise was certainly a very strange pick. Whereas Stacy's dish is kind of like a symphony in balance and elegance. This is a cacophony of dissonant flavors that make absolutely no sense. A cacophony. Complete excess. And quite frankly, an embarrassing dish that I wouldn't even recommend eating. I don't think that's edible. A cacophony is like a bunch of noises. You've got so many strong flavors sense. in there. It's almost like a sort of mouthwash. I think Tanya played this one absolutely right. Is it candied orange peel on top? I, th I think I was just paying too much attention to trying to do everything from scratch. Becky, you're trying to show off, and it bit you in the ass. In all honesty, I don't know if it was Tanya's intent to knock you out of the competition and send you home, but there's a strong possibility that that's what she might have just done. Sorry, Becky. It is what it is. Just, I, just yeah, how it is. It's dog shit. In all honesty, I don't know if it was Tanya's intent to knock you out of the competition and send you home, but there's a strong possibility that that's what she might have just done. Later. All right. So the first strawberry shortcake that I would like to see belongs to Cowboy Mike. Mike. <clears throat> oh, don't throw, please. Ooh. Looks like you went out and shot this thing and dragged it back to the plate. I had to put something on the plate that showed a little bit of plating skill, so I went big. I mean, I'm, it's I'm a little, tired a little too much middle. plating, but. Interesting design. Looks like a crime scene. I mean, have you seen what a winning plate looks like in this competition? I have. Does it look closer to a winning plate or a go-home plate? Winning plate. It looks a little closer to a go-home plate. No, don't say that. Poorly executed, unthoughtful, 
and over elaborated. Christine. Jesus. Christine, not a big fan of strawberries? No, I like strawberries, but no, I really wanted to just try to be a little bit that, more creative and go a different Christine? way because I feel like I usually say she got the wrong the fruits. Zone. The shortbread itself, delicious, light, aerated. Thank you, chef. However, strawberry shortcake is a classic for a reason, not blackberry, not raspberry shortcake. So I'm struggling to find the strawberries. Tally. Oh, come on. Tell me what you did. I made a um, little strawberry foam. Mm -hmm. I charged it with the two right. N2O cartridges, and I... Oh, he kind of popped off. Yummy. That's yummy. This is really good. Oh, thank God. The shortcake, it's got a little bit of sweetness. Uh, I like the, the strawberry foam. It actually gives it a nice concentrated flavor. As far as plating and the dish as a whole, this is one of your best. Thank you I very much. I told you, Charlie, to do it. Thank you. Last but not least, Scott. Uh-oh. Scott, when are you going to burst the out fuck? and start nailing this? I am trying my damnedest. <laughs> so the texture with a fork going through shortcake. It's doughy. That's it a scene straight out of fucking Dexter. What? I probably overneeded it because I'm used to making pasta. And at this stage of the competition, I expect those strawberries to be glazed. I thought this one was going to come out like the shiny star. Scott, dare I dare? Uh, he's been awake all season. He's, he's done, done for sure, right? Over dense, the whipped cream is too sweet. This dish might have lassoed Cowboy Mike out of the exit door, but that's about it. <laughs> Scotty and I are very good friends, and I know he's one of the few people here that I will be friends with for a long time. I oh, hate Joe. that he's the one I have to beat, but you know what? Yeah. Better yeah, than me. Yeah, it's We need a minute. Have a uh, chat amongst yourselves. We'll be back. I thought we were going to get, like, all pretty good, decent I mean, in all honesty, Tolly's looked prettier than anyone else's dessert out there. Becky, what was she doing there? Yeah, Becky? That was gross. She was spit out my food. Becky, say you why. Yeah, you should do I that. was trying to do too much stuff. No. I should have just... Chat. No, 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 no. I don't think anyone Becky? thinks you're trying to screw them. Becky? Felix? I do. I know Becky does. Scott. You need to give her something challenging. It's a competition. The worst in each category will be up for elimination tonight. But we all agreed that there was one standout dish that took a risk and made it work. Congratulations. Stacy. Stacy. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Italian schweifel, it Andy. Top three moments probably of my life. Falling in love with my husband, jumping out of an airplane, and Gordon Ramsay loving my tribal. Great job. Thank you, Chef. OK. As you know, this is a elimination test. And at least one person will be leaving MasterChef. Joe, who had the worst tiramisu, please? The person who Felix. will be in the bottom three from the tiramisu is? Freeform Felix. Felix. I do not want to no, get sent no, home. No, no, I'm no, better no. than the tiramisu. I feel like I have so much more to show. Graham, who yeah. had the worst strawberry shortcake? The absolute bottom of the barrel belonged to Scott. Scott, yep. I'm still in the competition. Whew. Chill. For me, there were two below par trifles. I know damn well they're not going to call me because Joe definitely didn't spit my trifle out. But the worst trifle tonight... Becky. ...belongs to Becky. Becky. You guys, Scott's done. Becky. Step forward, please. The combination She's between good. all those flavorings... It's like you got, I suppose, carried away with the hype. It was wrong in every aspect. Your saving grace is... There's You're two not worse the worst issues yep. than yours. I Back it. to your station. Thank you so much. No, 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 no. How did we get here? How did we get to 50 50? Felix. That? Step forward, please. No. Don't you fucking dare. You have a future in food. You're a natural. 
in the kitchen. No, no, no. You've come a long way in this competition. And the journey has been extraordinary. Phoenix, it's time to say goodbye. Mate, it's mate, it's mate, it's mate. To Scott. Yes! Get back to your station. Fuck yes! Did, did, did Jimmy ask before? No, no. To Scott. And get back to your station. Good luck, baby. <laughs> Scott. Big hearts. Unselfish attitude. You have to continue Guys. your food dream. Thank you. Thank you all. It's been an honor. Please. Okay, graceful. Take your apron off. Place it on your station. Thank you, chef. Well done. The best thing I'm going to take away from the competition is the experience from it. Good job, bud. I learned okay. so much from those three gentlemen, and also my good competitors. I'm absolutely walking away a winner. I'm just not winning Master Chef. But what it did is it got me honed in, and now I can actually keep on winning in my own life. And I plan to do that. Okay, Scott. I personally don't believe, but hey, you go, man. Next week on Master Chef.